So the start of this question says let u equal log to base 4 of r. And then we're trying to show that log base 4 of r is equal to half log base 2 of r. All right, I'm going to use the definition of logs essentially. So if I've got log to base 4 of r is equal to u, then it must be that 4 to the u is equal to r. And now, basically, I want to try and get it in terms of base 2. So one way of doing this is to write 4 as 2 squared. So it's going to be 2 squared to the power u, and I can actually just then um, write it as 2 to the 2u is equal to r. And that is going to mean that log to base 2 of r is equal to 2u for similar sorts of reasons. Because remember, it's 2 to the power of 2u is equal to r. So I've just, I've just rearranged the base. And that means that u is going to equal a half log to base 2 of r. And we're done. So that must mean that log to base 4 of r is equal to half log to base 2 of r. An alternative way of doing it actually at this point is to still is to just to take log to base two of both sides. And then bring u down using a third rule of logs. And then then you'd still have to write um four as two squared. Bring the two down. Um and log to base two of two is just one. Or to be fair, you could just do log to base 2 of 4 is 2. Um, and then you're going to get u's half log to base 2 of r from that. So yeah, that one works as well. But this is this is how I did it. For part b, we're then asked to solve this equation. And we're going to use part a to help us. So let's write it down. Log to base 4 of 5x squared minus 11 is equal to log to base 2 of 3x minus 5. Now these are different bases, so this seems an issue, except we've just shown that we can just change the base to 2, but we have it. Of course, you could, you know, you could do the equivalent. You could say that log to base 2 was 2, log to base 4 of r, but I'll stick with the result that they've kind of given. So it's going to be, wait a minute, let me just say, using a, going to be a half log to base 2 okay having said to do that actually it's going to make more sense i think to square this one so i'm actually going to times it by times both sides by 2 get the 2 over here and then raise it like use the third rule of logs to raise the power because i want to undo these logs now i just need to be a little bit careful because when you bring this power up there are some there are like a small consequence in the 3x minus 5 right i know that this must be greater than zero But when you bring the two up, you no longer need that restriction. So we just need to remember that restriction if it comes into play. So we must have that 3x is greater than 5. So x is greater than 5 over 3. Okay, so if we get an answer that's less than 5 over 3, we need to reject it. Now I can just undo the logs. I can basically get rid of them. If they're both log to base 2, it, it doesn't matter. It must be that 5x squared minus 11 is equal to 3x minus 5 all squared. which is 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. And therefore, it's going to be 4x squared minus 36 plus, sorry, minus 30 plus 36 is equal to 0. 
there's a common factor, not of four, but of two. So I can divide through by two. And then I'm going to seek to factorize. Okay, if it's going to factorize, I need to have a 2x and an x. And I can just try some numbers. Um, I know that I need an odd number here. So this one will have to be even and this one odd. So maybe I try 6 and 3. That will give me 12x and 3x, which will work if they're both negative, because then I'll get minus 12x minus 3x. That's going to be my minus 15x, but also give me my minus, my plus 18. So therefore, x is equal to 3 over 2, or 6. But let's just hang on a second. We needed x to be greater than 5 over 3. So actually, that is, um, this is 1 and a half. This is 1 and 2 thirds. This one's too small. So we need to reject 3 over 2. The only answer is going to be x equals 6. Okay, safe way of doing this, and alternatively, is to just substitute in at the end and just see if it works. It has to be in the original equation. Um, and if you put in 6, it will work. I mean, both will be positive, but if you put in 3 over 2, then you'll end up with this one being negative. So, you know, I think it's it's better mathematically to to you know consider the restriction as you go along though but yeah both of that works otherwise okay well done